Hi everyone, I welcome you all to another interesting video from your favorite channel. My name is Aditya Jain and today I have brought a very crucial video for all the GATE aspirants who are targeting GATE 2028. Okay, because we receive lots of queries from you guys and we were actually thinking how we can resolve all those queries. So this single video will resolve all your queries around GATE 2028. Okay, so as you can see, how to prepare for GATE 2028 while still in college because we are assuming that if you are targeting GATE 2028, you are a college student, okay? So I am going to st share a step-by-step -step guide, okay? And this is the guide that actually helped me to secure All India Rank 60 in my GATE exam in the very first attempt, okay? Although I started preparing pretty late as compared to what you guys are now preparing, but still, I will share my thoughts and this will definitely help you out, okay? So let's start. So the first point is, if you are planning for GATE 2028 and you are watching this video, you are already way ahead of the remaining crowd. So congratulations on that. Because as you know that in order to solve or in order to crack any exam, you have to start as early as possible. And the right time is to start in your second year of college. I started in my third year of college, which was pretty late, but you need to start as early as possible. Okay, so while you get to give GATE in third year as well, okay, you will get to give GATE exam in third year and you will have a chance to improve your next attempt. Okay, you will have a chance to improve your rank in the next attempt because you can give GATE exam in third year as well as fourth year and ahead as well okay second point how to prepare for gate along with college okay because i was also a btech student when i appeared for gate exam okay so this is your year wise focus okay in which year you should focus for what and according to the branches okay so start core technical subjects from the second year itself okay like for EC, you can focus on network signals and digital part, which is core subjects. In CS, you can follow on DSA, DBMS and operating system. And in electrical, you can focus on electrical machines, power systems and begin solving gate level problems. Okay, gate your previous year questions or you can enroll yourself to a very good coaching. Okay, like we have a batch who is targeting gate 2028. So you can enroll to that so that you get daily test papers, okay, weekly test, your solution sheets, your DPPs, etc. Okay, then how to prepare for GATE? Okay, year wise plan is aim for full syllabus coverage. Okay, in third year, in third year, your focus should be to cover the entire syllabus because third year will be your first attempt for GATE exam. And guys, even though I am saying that it is just the first attempt, but take the first attempt very seriously. When I was a student, I was only allowed to give GATE exam in fourth year. There was no allowance in the third year. And I secured All India Rank 60, 6060 in the very first attempt because I took that attempt very seriously. I was also a college student. I was also managing assignments, homeworks, placement preparation, everything together. So you can also do that, okay? So here, you should solve previous year GATE questions and topic-wise tests. Schedule mock tests on weekends. Okay, so I would recommend you to enroll to a very good test series. Okay, like you can check out our test series. We have topic wise test, we have subject wise test, and we have multi subject test as well, and obviously the full length test. So you can check that out, or you can enroll yourself to any good test series which will help you get the exam feel. Okay, so this is the most important part of any exam that you need to do good amount of mock tests okay proceeding to the next plan which is the fourth year now even though this slides i have brought thinking that you will give the first attempt in third year and then the final attempt in the fourth year but my suggestion would be treat the third year itself as your final attempt okay then you will get the best possible marks okay now Focus on full syllabus revision, full length mock test because now you are targeting for the gate second attempt. Identify and improve weak topics. So you have already appeared for gate exam once in your third year and now you already know what are your weak areas. 
what you are good at what you are bad at what you are struggling with okay so now you have got enough time to improve upon that and work on exam temperament and time management because guys believe it or not believe it or not your exam temperament is one of the most crucial elements okay you need to have a good presence of mind because everyone every student is learning the same concepts they are learning the same topics but only a few get all in the rank under 100 because gate exam tests your temperament it tests your aptitude okay so you need to think about that as well okay now what is the daily routine what is the daily routine okay this is just an example guys okay i am not recommending you to follow this okay uh, this is just an idea this is just a template using which you can create your own specific routine if i talk about my routine i used to wake up at 4 am in the morning and and i used to study for around 3 hours before going to the college okay then in the college also i used to spend so much time solving previous year questions i used to sit at the last bench i will not recommend you that but i used to sit at the last bench and i used to solve previous year questions there of gate exam okay of aptitude and maths so i used to find time so much because i was very late into the preparation but you guys are very early so congrats on that okay so time slot and what activity you can do so around 7 to 8 am you can study a gate topic for one hour and i would recommend you to start your day with something that you are very confident about which will help you gain the momentum for example i used to start my day with maths or aptitude because that gives me a good momentum okay or my favorite subjects used to be dsa which is data structures and algorithms or programming so i always used to start my study with some favorite topic okay then during the college attend classes plus review notes so whenever you get time okay like there is a recess break there is some 50 20 minutes between any lectures so just go through your notes which you have studied earlier as a quick revision okay 5 to 6 pm quick topic revision again pick one topic from any subject and revise that topic okay then 8 to 9 30 pm solve give previous year questions or practice problems okay so by night you would actually be very consumed right you have studied so much you have went to college all those things so this is the time you should take out to actually solve questions because question solving is ultimately the most important thing okay if you don't solve questions then you will not score good marks in gate exam and finally over the weekends take mock tests or focus study sessions so over the weekends have a dedicated time to hang out with your friends and family but in the remaining time have a very good plan to utilize the weekend for acing your studies for actually taking those long four or five hour sessions of study okay awesome so now very very important in today's day and age guys it is very very important for us to work smart because everyone is working hard but we need to be smarter okay so how to use your college time efficiently just judicious use of attendance margin okay this is something that i have actually done and i will also recommend you the same okay what you have to do is what you have to do is every college has certain percentage okay like my college used to have 75 percent attendance minimum minimum 75 percent of attendance is required otherwise they will consider me as failed so i used to maintain the 75 percent mark 75 76 77 here and there only okay because my dear friends you need to understand your priorities my first priority was gate exam so i am not suggesting you to skip college i am not suggesting you to not study for the college exam just to tell you i secured all india rank 16 gate exam but at the same time my college cgpa was 9.06 out of 10 okay i have submitted all the assignments on time i have submitted all the projects on time and i have also secured one of the best placement which was a software developer intern role at amazon i was the only student from my batch who got that internship 
So what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm not suggesting you to skip everything. I'm telling you to have the right set of priorities. Okay, your first priority should be to score as maximum marks in gate exam as possible. Okay, Chalo. so maintain the bare minimum, maintain the bare minimum, uh, uh, I would say, attendance so that your college is also not creating any problem for you. And at the same time, you can give importance to gate exam as well. Okay, but again, if you can manage both, so also maintain 100% attendance, not a problem. Now, how to use your college time efficiently? Tip number two, okay. Engage yourself in revising short notes during college hours. And this is exactly what I have done, my dear friends. As I told you, I used to sit at the very last bench and I used to practice all the questions and the assignments. Okay, all the questions, all the previous year questions, all the mock test questions I used to solve by sitting at the last bench because I was not disturbing the class. So even teachers didn't used to have any problem. And again, I am just studying, so who, who would actually create any problem, right? So I used to solve so many previous year questions, so many practice questions, because I know, I knew that gate exam is my first priority. So wherever I used to get any time, I used to dedicate time to gate preparation. So I will recommend you the same, okay? Take some short notes with you. And the best thing is to solve maths and aptitude. Because maths and aptitude questions, you can solve in the college environment as well okay you cannot study in college environment because there is so much noise and all but if you focus on solving question it is very much doable okay so you need to think of such patterns okay when you are preparing a schedule think of these patterns come up with these patterns for yourself whatever is more helpful to you okay Chalo. tip number 3 is Complete theoretical and less numerical intensive topics in the class itself. I told you the same thing, guys. Okay, complete the theoretical and less numerical intensive topics in the class itself. What I mean by that? If you are attending any lecture which is relevant to your gate preparation, or if you are attending any lecture in your coaching center, okay. So don't wait for revision, okay? Try to be so much focused, try to be so much focused in the lecture so that you can reduce, you can save your time during the revision, okay? So when you are learning any theoretical topic, make sure that you get it clear then and there itself, okay? I used to do this and I suggest my students the same. When I am teaching you something, be so much focused that you only have to spend 10-15 minutes to revise it, okay? Okay. The next tip is how to use the time is complete college assignments and lab reports in college itself. So guys, to be very honest with you, I used to treat my college as a fun activity. Okay. I used to go college only as a refreshment because when I was a student, I used to study for gate exam almost the entire day because I only studied for gate exam for around seven to eight months because I decided pretty late. Okay. So my suggestion would be, whenever you go to college, try to do all the activities of college, like assignments, homework, lab reports, in the college itself, okay? Because there is so much noise, there is so much of uh, friends and all that you are hanging out with, okay? So complete the college task in the college, okay? Because you will anyways find it very difficult to study in college, right? Uh, study gate exam in college. So that once you come back to home, now you can be completely focused on your gate preparation. Okay, so this is a very good strategy and I have actually tried and tested. Either I used to solve numericals during college or I used to actually complete the college work in college itself. Because I know that you have lots of lab reports, lots of assignments and projects. Okay, then solve practice questions or previous year questions during break time or in the library. Okay, very obvious because library will give you a very quiet environment, okay? So you can utilize that. On weekends, over lengthy topics and give ample amount of test series. So weekends are the time you need to leverage because you can study for around eight to 10 hours, 
there is no college okay so study for 8 to 10 hours and hang out with your family and friends guilt free without worrying because you have already studied so much so please utilize your time wisely because weekends are very useful okay and the the other suggestion that i would like to share with you is during preparation the mind should fully dedicate it to the preparation guys because it's not just about the quality but it's uh, it's not just about the quantity but it's also about the quality okay so you need to spend as much time as possible and as much dedicatedly as possible okay and finally fewer marks in the test series what matters is overall test result so don't spend too much time worrying about test series marks just learn time management from test series just learn presence of mind from test series okay and in the actual gate exam you will actually do really great okay so yeah my final tips would be to use semester breaks to cover your subjects okay to study as much as possible create short notes and formula sheets for each subject because during the end of the semester during the end of the gate exam near the end of the gate exam you will have very less time to revise each and every subject okay practice pyqs and topic wise test okay because this will help you understand where you are getting stuck in each and every subject start mock test early to get used to the exam patterns because without appearing for mock test you will not understand how to maintain your temperament how to manage your time in the actual gate exam and use resources like standard books coaching if needed so we are actually providing a very amazing coaching you can check out our courses and we believe that it will definitely help you out okay so with this my dear friend i would like to wish you all the very best this was my set of tips do let us know in the comment section down below if you have enjoyed and you have got to learn something or not and do also mention what steps you plan to take to get ahead in your gate journey my name is aditya jain and i wish you a great success all the best thank you